Hey guys, so today we're at the Borgata in Atlantic City. I got this awesome room, this awesome suite. It just recently opened up, so I figured I'd do a reopening tour of the Borgata and also show you what's going on in Atlantic City in general, show you the boardwalk and uh, have some fun. All right, just parked, gonna go to the elevators. Cool, thanks. thanks. Wow. So I just got to the suite at the Borgata. Uh, I found a good deal this morning. It was like 233 in total with the fees and the resorts and the taxes and whatnot included. Still expensive, but I thought it was worth it because normally this room is like closer to 400 uh, and it's just super nice. I'm so excited to be here. This is sweet. The view is just incredible. Kind of a mess. I need to shower and shave and all this stuff. So that's the first on the agenda. <laughs> Bathroom is sweet. No pun intended. <laughs> All right, just got out of the shower, feel great. Okay, let's do a room tour now. One thing I wanted to show you guys, I've never seen this ever before in a bathroom. There's a temperature dial in here, so you can dial it up to 110 degrees or lower, closer to 70. So that's the temperature dial. And then right here is just the pressure, the water pressure dial. Super neat. So the Borgata is another MGM property. And so similar to all the other MGM properties I've stayed at for the most part, they have a little care package for you. So we got a hand sanitizer, two of these guys, which in past videos, uh, I thought they were originally a bottle opener, but a lot of people shredded me to pieces telling me that it's for pushing and pulling things so you don't have to use your hands to touch all these things. <laughs> and then also uh, we got another mask. And this one says the Borgata on the corner. I like this little baggie. The other ones are just like plastic bags that you throw away, but this one actually seems reusable. So that's kind of neat, little, little perks. Okay, let's head downstairs. I gotta find some lunch because I'm starving. And then we're gonna check out the pool, the casino, and anything else that we could find. I didn't quite understand before was I was trying to hit the pool and spa button, but it wouldn't work because the pool and spa indoors here is not open yet. Only the outdoor pool. 35th floor. Pretty, pretty quiet here. Some people downstairs, obviously, but crowd's pretty small. Many things are closed. So there were a lot of places closed, a few open. I decided to go with an Asian uh, American cuisine place. The instructions in the casino are that you have to eat takeout and you have to bring it to your room. So you can't, you know, find a place in the casino or wherever downstairs and just eat. And you can't dine in as well. So um, I'm gonna eat here in my hotel room. <laughs> I'm gonna head out to the Atlantic City Boardwalk now. Many of the casinos here are actually on the boardwalk, so you just walk outside and you're there. But the Borgata is a little bit off of the boardwalk. And also, I just wanna see what's going on. I haven't been to the boardwalk in years, and uh, if I go right now, I can probably catch the sunset too, so that'll be cool. So I parked at the, uh, the Caesars Casino because in Atlantic City, a lot of the town really is not a good area. A lot of ghetto, uh, just a lot of bad areas. So the best bet when you're coming here, if you're not taking Uber, is to park at one of the casinos. I think it was like $10 right now at the Caesars. So it's not very expensive, but you park there and you could walk a block or two to get to the boardwalk. So that's what I'm doing right now.
All right, we're here. It's been a while. So I've been walking up and down this boardwalk for the last like hour and I've been trying to think about what to say and all I can say is that if you want to see some wacky stuff you come to the boardwalk here in Atlantic City. Bars, bars. Okay, so last night, I kind of cut the video off a little bit short, so I apologize about that. Just had an early night. Uh, the Rangers actually had their first exhibition game, which was awesome. I watched it here and just went to sleep. To summarize my thoughts from yesterday, from what I've seen at the Borgata, the place is very quiet. I know it just reopened, but it's even more empty than some of the newly reopened places I've seen in Vegas. Kind of understandable. I don't think Atlantic City is as popular as Vegas is. A lot of restaurants aren't open yet. The nightclub here is not open yet. The indoor pool and spa isn't open. Um, the whole floor is just, you can't even go to the whole floor. But they do have an outdoor pool that's opened. I think I said this earlier, but the sister property of the Borgata, which is right next door, is called the Water Club. And that place is not open yet. You got your standard, like every other table is kind of blocked off, things like that. It's pretty standard from what I've seen I would say but this place is super high class it kind of reminds me of the win in that regard um, I mean as you can see this room is just I mean look at this this just unbelievable the board <laughs> the board got actually is the largest hotel and casino in all of New Jersey which is interesting uh, I learned that last night Sopranos actually filmed an episode here called chasing it Queens. So that's neat. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed this place overall. So if you're coming to Atlantic City, I would recommend this place. They're taking coronavirus things very serious. Lots of security. Lots and lots of people cleaning machines and things like that. That's all good stuff. What else can I say? What else can I say? And gosh, do I love this bathroom. <laughs> All right. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and whether or not you're familiar with Vegas or <laughs> and whether or not you're familiar with Atlantic City and uh, the Borgata or not. I hope you learned something and uh, enjoyed it. If you could throw me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Um, I'm doing mostly Vegas content, but I also like to travel a lot and make vlogs, as you can see, of other places. But uh, I'll be back in Vegas in a few days. So looking forward to that. Uh, and anyway, have a good rest of your day, guys. And I'll see you.